we've got the the plan in place. The action will take place very soon. But I wanted to tell you, you're probably going to be or have heard or hear a lot about A Help. And I wanted to tell you that A Help is Allegheny Highlands Early Learning Partnership. And the partnership includes the Community Service Board, Allegheny Highlands Community Service Board, Allegheny Highlands YMCA, Allegheny Highlands Regional Library, Allegheny Covington Health Department. Allegheny Public Schools, Allegheny Highlands YMCA Early Learning Centers, Covington City Schools, local pediatric professionals. Other partners include TAP Head Start, Jackson River Early Childhood Education, Edgemont Nursery School, and DSLCC with their new EG3 grant. So AHELP was already in place when this um, survey took place and once they came up with one early childhood as one of the goals, we decided that it would be great to partnership with AHELP because we're already doing a lot of this work. And one of AHELP's goals is to de in developing school readiness as well as strong social and emotional skills in children. Of the three goals, we already had that goal in place. So we now had a validation from the community that that did need to happen. So with that in place, we all came together instead of working separately to start working towards this goal. And um, we're going to talk tonight about some of the things that will be happening with that. And we have this for you to read and to look at at your own of the plans that have taken place, the action steps that will begin, and we're very excited to have that happen. We have with us tonight Dr. Amanda Williford from UVA, who has helped us through many of these child childhood hurdles we've had and found us um, great answers and we have been able to participate and be local leads or state leads in many of the initiatives and she's going to explain those to you tonight as well as talk to you about a new curriculum that our area has been very privileged to be a part of. Thank you Amanda. I just want to um, thank you as the, com as the community. Um, it has been a privilege to be able to get to know you all a little bit better um, and the uptake by which um, you all have chosen to kind of tackle some of the early childhood initiatives that are happening in the state and becoming early adopters of those initiatives really shows that not only does the community kind of coming together and identifying early childhood um, education and school readiness as an issue, but also that you're ready to kind of do the hard work to tackle it. Um, and that has been really um, beneficial for me to be able to be a small part of that. So I'm going to talk just a little bit about what those initiatives are that are happening um, in the state. So um, we know that there's more brain growth happening in early childhood than at any other time. So while it's not a kind of use it or lose it, your brain, your brain is always plastic, you are always learning, it takes a whole lot less effort to create and prune those neurons in the first five years of life than what's happening later. So it is definitely an opportunity with which we are shaping the brain that not only has academic and social emotional outcomes, but it has health outcomes later on in life. Um, and so one of the things that we know is that relationships grow the brain. So it's the serve and return, and it is the interactions that are happening with kids, day-to-day -day experiences all the time. And that is what grows the brain. And we know that young kids are spending more and more time in school-based settings, early childhood education-based settings, um, and that starts at birth. So our infants are going into these settings, and so we know those interactions need to be high quality, and they need to be engaging and stimulating for us to grow the brain. Now, in, in the state, we're also paying, or the state is also starting to pay attention to the importance of early childhood education. And so they have um, created several initiatives of which the Allegheny Highlands region, um, Allegheny County and Covington City have been a part of. One of which is the Virginia Kindergarten Readiness Program. And that is an initiative to really increase kind of our understanding as a state 
on kind of the importance of school readiness and also having a more comprehensive definition of school readiness. So in the state right now, starting this fall, every school division in the state will engage in a common assessment system of school readiness. And that school readiness assessment is not completely comprehensive. It only measures, measures children's skills. And we know that all kids show up ready to learn. So when kids are coming in lacking foundational skills, it's not because there's anything wrong with that kid. It is because they need more support and more stimulation and lots of, and, and, and as adults, we have to kind of wrap around and support those kids. But what this, what this um, common assessment does do is it really balances academic and social emotional um, skills. So we now have, we continue to use the PALS, We'll have an assessment of literacy, an assessment of math, an assessment of self-regulation and social skills. And that gives us a balanced picture of what a child, a balanced kind of snapshot of what a child kind of looks like. And that benchmark is really important because it tells us as a state that about 40% of kids are coming in but far behind lacking foundational skills in one or more of those areas. And so school readiness and kindergarten readiness isn't just an issue here, it's an issue statewide. Um, I'm really proud that Allegheny and Covington have been parts of this initiative. Um, they've been early adopters and have been gathering that data for years. So we have good baseline data that we can move forward with. The other kind of new initiative that is happening kind of in the state is that they're really looking at the quality of teacher-child interactions in its state-funded preschool programs. So starting, it started last year with early adopters, of which this region is one. Um, but every two years, someone will come in and observe the quality of teacher-child interactions and really use that information to develop an action plan to make sure that children are day-to-day -day having the high-quality experiences that we know shape the brain. And then the last initiative that I'm super excited about um, uh, is that um, we know that in order to grow the brain, children need to be engaged in developmentally appropriate, fun, playful, engaging interactions all day long. Um, we also know that the adults that are working with our children need support to make that happen. Um, that doesn't happen all by itself. And so one of the ways in which we can increase that support is by providing an evidence-based, developmentally appropriate, comprehensive, and integrated, and by that I mean it's not just a literacy and math curriculum, it's a science, it's social-emotional, it covers um, STREAM, which we call science, technology, reading, engineering, arts, and math. It covers all of the content and in an integrated and playful way. Um, and, and a comprehensive curriculum can really help improve the quality of those interactions. But, either, but we can give everybody across the nation or the state a box of curriculum materials and that won't get us where we want to be in terms of teacher-child interactions. So with that curriculum comes a really high level of support um, to make sure that teachers are receiving the support they need to make sure that they're getting the most of that curriculum in those day-to-day -day experiences. So um, in Allegheny we'll have 19 Pre birth through preschool, mostly preschool classrooms. This is seven classrooms that are funded through um, financial support from the Virginia Department of Social Services and then an additional 12 classrooms that are being funded by the Allegheny Foundation. Um, they are being supported by Pat Bennett Willem. Did I say that right? Wilhelm. Um, so she's right here. She will be giving that intensive coaching to make sure that um, teachers are able to implement that curriculum to its fullest. And if they do, we really expect the kids, number one, to love learning. And that's the most important part. So they come in each day and they're happy to be there. They're regulated. The classroom is a regulating place. It helps calm them. They see that classroom as a source of support. That helps them be ready to learn. And then they are learning all of the school readiness skills that they need so that they walk into that kindergarten and our early elementary classrooms kind of ready to take the next step in their learning.
Thank you.